In this video, I want to discuss how to manually set the IP address on a PowerFlex 525. For this video, I'm using the TII Technical Education Systems Model ACD 525 VFD Trainer. So we're going to go ahead and go into the menu here. And then we're going to escape over and change this to C. Then the first step in doing this is to hit Enter. We're going to go up to 128, hit enter. It's set to option two, which is the boot P, which means that it can be set using the boot program that Rockwell Automation provides. So in this case, we're going to bring this down to one, hit select. This will mean that you can manually set it through the parameters. So we'll hit enter here, we'll escape, and then we need to manually put the address in. So we'll go to the first one which is 129, select enter. Then this will be the last three digits of the IP address. So we're going to scroll down here and put this to 192. Hit enter. Escape, go up to 130, hit enter. Then we'll go down to 168. enter, escape, go up to 131, enter. We'll add this as a one here, enter, escape, go up to 132, enter. And I'm going to set this to 35. Hit enter, hit escape. Now the IP address has been set. So the next thing we need to do is to set up the subnet. All right. And the subnet is starts at C133. So we'll go up, enter. We're going to set this to 125, enter, escape, go up to 134, enter, go down to 125, enter that, escape, Go up to 135, hit enter. Go up to 125 here, hit enter. Hit escape, go up to 136, enter. And I'm gonna leave this at zero, just confirming that it is at zero, so the submask matches what I have on my IP address. I'm going to hit escape here, and escape one more time. And I have now set up the IP address and the subnet mask on this VFD. Now the next step in doing this is to reset the PowerFlex 525. And to do that, I'll, I'll come over here to the off switch on the TII trainer, give it a second to shut down, let it sit for at least 10 seconds. Now I'm going to boot the trainer back up, and you can see here the ethernet light is activated letting you know that it is good to go. Now it's time to go and see if it is being picked up and seen in RS Links. Okay, so we're going to go over to RS Links, double click on it, and I'm going to go ahead and create a new driver specifically to look at this VFD. So I'll come to configure drivers. I'm going to grab the Ethernet IP driver, add new. I'm going to go ahead and give it a name that's recognizable. Select OK. I'm going to select the IP address for the computer that I've set up here. Hit OK. Close this out. Expand out Clean Tech. There's the PowerFlex appearing in RS Links. Now you know that it is good to go and you can begin to program the VFD via CCW, which is Connected Component Workbench or Studio 5000. If you're interested in learning more about RS Links, I created a course for Solus PLCs, which I will link in the bottom, that walks you through networking all different type of industrial equipment. All right, again, thanks for watching, and if you enjoyed the video, please hit the like and subscribe button.